Namaste and welcome to Tune In Frequency. My name is Trina Joan and I do these collective readings. I try to do them weekly and I usually do them with a sound bow. Today I'm actually going to be uh, in nature so I didn't bring the sound bow today but I did bring the frequency cards um, if you've been here, you've known them. These cards are created by Teal Swan. She basically sees the frequency. Uh, it's usually a moving pattern, but she tries her best to capture these and creates these just gorgeous frequency paintings. And because of uh, all these paintings, she chose 77 of those to create this deck and I've been inspired by this deck to start this series of readings I started to call them tune and frequency I've been doing these collective readings um, since May 2020 um, since the very first day I started channeling these messages and since then I don't just offer these collective readings sorry there's an airplane right now gorgeous light <laughs> but I've also um, started to give personal readings because just as you would have a horoscope just because you follow into a certain uh, star sign or a zodiac sign or whatever you want to call it, um, that doesn't mean that that is um, as accurate as it would be if you would have the whole birth chart. So you can imagine these are kind of the same way. So when I read the, for the collective, it, if it resonates you, you can tell that this is actually meant for you. You are part of the collective, but some might like actually um, uh, resonate with it more uh, than others because maybe they are more aware of like the energies going around and, and maybe others are not um, as tuned in. And um, for those who want to get a deeper insight, a personal insight, like what it has to do with them and um, where they're standing right now or maybe on their life path, where they are at the moment, um, what benefits um, their journey, what, what it would be the right next step. Those are the questions that we can find answers to in a personal reading and i always say these are not given so it doesn't mean that like if i tell you something about the reading that that is set in stone and you can't change anything about it that's not true you get more or less something like a direction yeah like a map and the tempo, the intensity, and all that you, you create for yourself by what you want to do with it. Um, and that can look like very, very different from one person to the other depending on like maybe how much shadow work you've already done or depending on whether something maybe scares you at the moment or whether you're eager to finally get that last advice to then follow your dream path um, so those can look completely different and yeah I encourage you to try it out because so far the readings have been just incredible like the personal readings um, the images I get sometimes 
most of the time I don't even know the person who is doing these readings with me and or who I'm giving the reading and it's just so beautiful to see the images and the messages that come up and they totally resonate with the other person sometimes i'm describing things and i don't really understand how it fits in with their life but then they kind of share a little bit how and why it made sense and why it was the perfect message for them and it's been more than once that my clients and me we have moved been moved to tears um by these messages because it's just beautiful what comes in if you watched um the other video that i posted uh then you know how to do the breath of joy um so i feel really pumped as you can tell like i have a lot of energy because of the breath of joy but still, because in case you haven't done this, I want you to do as we do in the beginning of our readings. We always take three breaths in through our nose and breathe out through our mouth. So we are open to receiving the messages. We make sure we let go of anything that blocks us from actually accessing um, the frequency and yeah so if you want to you can close your eyes you can put your hand on your belly um whatever feels best for you so enjoy Alright, so let's take a look at the cards and let's see what this week has in store. I often do these readings on a Sunday, but I haven't been feeling so well. And I saw through my moon calendar that Pisces, the moon is in Pisces at the moment. And since I'm, I'm a Pisces... My moon is in Virgo, but still, like, the Pisces energy is my home. It's my sun sign. It's my rising. I am definitely influenced by Pisces a lot. So I thought, if the moon is in Pisces today and my intuition gets a boost, this would be a lovely time for us to get the, to this reading. And it's really funny that I'm getting this um, first card, which is meditation, because I also just did an abundance meditation. Um, I practice all kinds of different meditations. I also give meditations if you want something specific for yourself. Um, but, you know, it, it all depends on the time, whether you have a lot of time or you have just a little time, uh, whether you want to sit in silence or you want to listen to some music or you would like to have a guided meditation. Everyone is different. And I would also say, because I'm a chameleon and I kind of shapeshift all the time, um, I change every day um, and what works for me one day doesn't necessarily work for me on another so we got emotional expression in reverse and we got optimism let's pull one more card before going further into this reading today There we go. 
go. Oh, we got two new cards. <laughs> My girls are going to laugh. Synchronicity. We have been talking about synchronicities probably for the past few weeks. And alchemy. Lovely. Lovely. I love alchemy. If if you heard me say that before, I'm going to say it again. In case you haven't, I love alchemy because I turn bad shit into good shit. And that's what alchemy is about. But let's go one by one. All right, so we had... I want to keep them. Meditation, 36. Emotional expression, number two. Optimism, 30. Synchronicity, 59. And alchemy, 70. Okay, so meditation. Um, I am guessing that you are quite busy at the moment. Um, energies are up. Um, you are running from A to B. You are influenced by all your relationships. And it's just like so much going on. And you didn't really have uh, some time for yourself, for your self-care and time to tune in with yourself and if this phase of busyness doesn't get better I would like you to start with just a one minute meditation it doesn't have to be like an hour of meditation one minute is fine and if you can increase it, maybe from one minute to five minutes, from five minutes to 10 minutes, even better. But if all you can manage at the moment is one minute, then one minute it is. But the more you practice it, maybe you can practice it throughout the day several times, then you will see that even if you're only, sorry, there's a plane again. So even if you meditate throughout the day, just for one minute, you will see that the more you do it, that the deeper and the quicker you will fall into the meditation. And I love the space when it opens up, when I meditate and it's almost like I'm traveling through my third eye into myself and what I find is like infinite space and this infinite space is some some place where I can just float in I can just be in and it's so silent in it and there's neither time nor space and it's just so peaceful I would like you I would like to invite you to to try out meditation and just experience for yourself what what that is and what that means all right so the second card we got we got in reverse that's why I'm turning it around it came out like this because it it wants to tell us that there is a block so you have had issues with expressing your emotions and I'm guessing because of this like hectic energy because of the lack of like really tuning in because of 
all these different entanglements? Do you see these lines? They're all like pulling on you, but the thing is, the metal you see, it looks almost like a the eye of a snake. That that truth, the way you feel, that is not gonna change until you are able to express it. And expressing your emotions doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a conversation. Expressing your emotions can mean you're so angry, you're just screaming. You're maybe screaming into your pillow. Or if you're sad, you are writing a letter. Or if you are feeling shameful, you, you don't even have words for it. You put those feelings, those emotions into a painting, whatever it is, however you feel most comfortable expressing yourself. And I would say start with that. And if you feel like you've already tried to express your emotion, Try to do something that is even a little uncomfortable, maybe a new form of expression. I definitely invite you to yeah, try it out because it could help with getting rid of that block, whatever stopped you from expressing yourself. And with this, I want you to think of it as this will work yeah I want you to stay in your optimism that even if everything looks like totally frustrating and unchangeable or if it feels stuck that you stay optimistic It's really interesting if you notice these bubbles they're like streams yeah I, I imagine like energy streams just like chakras um, here and they're like the inside energies flowing but there are also outside energies flowing but what you do and we've talked about like transcendence a lot in these past readings is when you you take in all these different streams is that you kind of create your own little flower yeah the flower of life when you t take in like all the aspects and you imagine it it being exactly the right thing to add to your life even if it's a negative thing that that negative thing has a gift for you and you get to unlock that present by using your optimism through this process you will see that there are gonna be a lot of synchronicities when I talk about synchronicities what do I mean for example, the moment that I just said that the time was 1919, um, you will see mirrors of something. For example, I talk about something and the moment I talk about it, like it shows up, I see it, I hear about it from someone else. Or I was thinking about something and then suddenly it just shows up on my cell phone or it shows up like around me or even when I'm traveling for some reason like something um, wants my attention and that is kind of that message 
So those are the synchronicities that um, I want you to be more aware of. And don't think of it as, oh yeah, this is just a coincidence, or I mean, this is just, um, this doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because whatever frequency you are tuning in, you are sending out a signal to the universe and the universe is responding to your frequency. But if you don't want to see it, if you don't want to hear it, if you don't want to feel that answer, then you won't be able to receive those synchronicities and um, yeah, you won't notice them. But by noticing, you will increase noticing them. All right. So again, alchemy. I was talking already about it, like turning bad shit into good shit, and that's why we have the optimism there. Yes? This has been something that came up with uh, in a conversation a few days ago, um, that for me personally, I feel that Those act aspects that have been like the hardest challenges for me kind of are what makes me me. And because I'm me, I get to then share it with someone else. And that other person is going to benefit from those hardships, those lessons. Um, the advice, the wisdom, the experience, um, because I might be like a little further than the person next to me, yeah, or for another person um, having gained experiences in life that benefit me, that that person can share with me, and I gain more knowledge and more ideas like what my options are and it doesn't look like there's only one way no you will always have an unlimited amount of choices infinite possibilities there are infinite possibilities how you want to alchemize the bad shit into good shit and i am going to close with that thank you so much stay tuned and see you soon bye